Android is getting more secure with each new release and is increasingly posing a challenge for developers to gain root access on Android devices and alter the system files. Last year, an XDA developer, Top John Wu, has developed a new systemless interface called Majisk, which basically combines the features of SuperSU and Exposed Framework. Majisk is currently the best alternative to Chainfire Super SU. In fact, it's much better than SuperSU in some aspects. Unlike SuperSU, which only grants or denies root permission for a specific apps, Majisk can hide root from an app completely, meaning you can use apps like Pokemon Go and Snapchat, which don't work on rooted devices. You can also install tons of mods using Majisk without even installing Exposed Framework and it works on Android version 5.0 Lollipop or higher. So now with that being said, let's check out how to install it on your Android devices and what else we can do with this. The prerequisites are, first, your bootloader should be unlocked, second, you should have pre-installed TWRP recovery. Now, Majisk can be easily installed with the help of flashable zip file which can be downloaded from the XDA forums. I'll be leaving a link of that page in the description down below. From here, you have to download two files. The first one is the latest Majisk zip file and the second one is the Majisk manager. Now, once you have downloaded both the files, put them in the internal memory of your device. Now, boot your device into TWRP recovery by using your specific key combination, which varies according to your device. If you don't know your combination, then just google it. So after successfully booting up into TWRP recovery, the very first thing that I always recommend is to make a backup of your current ROM, because in case you end it with a boot loop, then you can easily restore your ROM by simply going into restore section. So now once you have done that, go back and click on install and navigate the Majisk zip file and flash it by swiping this blue button to right. During the flashing, the installer modifies the boot image of your device and creates a new Majisk.image partition in your smartphone's root directory. Once the installation is done, reboot your device. Now when your device successfully boots up, it means Majisk has now been installed. Now to manage Majisk, you have to install the Majisk Manager app that we downloaded earlier. But before installing it, make sure your unknown sources is enabled. Once the app is installed, you are good to go. So this is the basic layout of Majisk Manager. When you swipe right, you will get some advanced options such as Super SU modules and Majisk Hide, more on that in a second. Talking about Super User, from here you can manage the root privileges of different apps and you have the option to grant or deny root access for any particular app. Next up is the module section. This option basically allows users to install different mods on their devices and by using this, you can easily tweak your device the way you want. This actually uses the same concept of exposed framework but I think the implementation is much better. For instance, you can install mods like Viper for Android which is one of the most widely used sound mod for Android by using the modules. If you go to the download section, from here you can download different mods but as of now, the mods are quite limited but you can find some pretty cool mods on the go. Lastly, we have the Majisk hide option. Now, this one is my favorite because this can be used to hide Majisk from being detected by any specific app. For instance, there are apps such as Android Pay, Pokemon Go or Snapchat that doesn't work if your device is rooted because these apps make use of Google's safety net check to verify root access on a device. So to overcome this, simply toggle the button next to the specific app and they won't be able to detect any Majisk installation, it's as simple as that. So basically, by using Majisk, you can gain root access, modify various elements, install handy modules and gain complete control over your device without even tempering or modifying the system partitions. So guys, if you are going to try out Majisk or if you are already using it, then do let me know your experience in the comment section. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video and if you do, then do consider subscribing to my channel and hit that bell icon to get notified every time I release a new video. So this is Samir signing off and I'll see you guys in my next one.